Welcome to menopause and sleep series. Why sleep during the premenopause and menopause is so important. Uh, as you know, menopause is related with many physical, emotional, and mental changes in the woman's body. And sleep is very important to um, nurture yourself, to have more energy, more grounding, and to avoid cardiovascular disease, infections, um, inflammatories, uh, or, and also it's related with other symptoms uh, that can be managed with a good night's sleep and also with relaxation techniques. So I'm teaching uh, how to um, sleep restful during the premenopause and menopause so that you feel more energized and vitalized. Uh, I'm going to share today three techniques to really get a restful sleep. I'm Diliana. I am a menopause sleep expert and welcome again. And today, uh, first technique that I want to, to teach you and to create a routine a morning and evening to relax the brain and the body so that you feel more rest and relaxed. Uh, and you can uh, also sleep during the night because of the lifestyle and uh, uh, need uh, of the body to rest during the day is also important. So you need to find a, a space and time uh, for uh, just connect with yourself in silence and to <clears throat> switch off of all electronics and uh, uh, to be just with yourself and connect with yourself in a better way. The other uh, te techniques is to um, have create a regular schedule for um, going to bed in the same time and wake up in the same time and uh, create this evening um, rituals that can help you to also fall asleep fast and stay asleep. Um, and also the third techniques or the third um, uh, tips that I can uh, suggest you uh, to really uh, pay attention how you eat, what kind of food you eat, uh, specifically in the evening, uh, what time you eat, uh, and um, if you cannot sleep, it's also regulated with uh, if you eat a lot of uh, spicy food uh, or uh, heavy food in the evening. So I suggest that you eat it really light in the evening, like a salad or just uh, soup, so that you can uh, feel more light, maybe uh, help you with the digestion and help you with the sleep overnight. So in the next video, I will share with you what to do and how to do um, if you often wake up and how to avoid uh, this, or if it's happened, uh, what to do to um, diminish this many times wakening during the night and how to go uh, back to sleep fast and uh, have this restful sleep overnight. Thank you to listen to me today. I, I wish you a wonderful uh, day, a good night's sleep, and I see you in the next video.